Hey KI fans, this is Stanley Stand the Man coming to you with some more artwork and customers designs. Sorry I haven't been uploading videos lately. I've been busy with my other two jobs and it's keeping me really busy. Uh, but after this month I should be back to schedule. I have two projects that I'm working on. Uh, the first one as you can see, I'll zoom in a little bit here is a Street Fighter design and you can see the gamer tag on the bottom, Keppers and this particular stick is going to be a, a, a dual mod for PS3, 360 and PC so I'll zoom in a little bit, this is the design that he wanted and my designer and myself came up with uh, this design. He said he wanted all the Street Fighter logos on along with uh, Ryu and Akuma. And the second project I'm working on is another TJ combo. As you can see, customer's gamer tag on there. And uh, he called me wanting a stick and he likes what I've been doing with the LED lights. So with this particular fight stick, uh, it's going to be uh, for Xbox One system and um, TJ Combo's eyes are going to illuminate blue. So he's pretty really excited about that. So that's my other project, those two projects I'm trying to get done. And meanwhile, in between the last four projects I'm working, I've been working on my personal stick. Another one will be a third one. And as you know, if you've been watching my videos, uh, and I've been really working on this one and coming up with something unique and different, still sticking with the LED lighting. Um, but I've been working it through the last four projects, trying to get it done. I am almost done, and of course you know that my favorite character is Shadow Jago. So this is what it looks so far. The box is pretty much done, along with the art design. Okay. And with my designer, I wanted something a little different. As you can see, uh, Shadow Jago has his instinct mode. And you can see the evil demon right there, just to the right of him, above his head. Zoom in right there. Okay. And since this side of him, he doesn't have the tattoo, I thought, hey, you know, let's uh, just put something on there to signature his uh, pose on that side with without the tattoo. So we just thought of putting a KI tattoo on his shoulder and then my designer came up with this idea putting a little fancy glow in there with my gamer tag this one right here I've been working on and it took me a while to get the LED lighting set up correctly and I will show you I have to make it more dramatic by turning off uh, the lights so you can see exactly what I've been working on the past three months in between the four projects I just have been working on two more done and I'm working on this last two So let me turn off the lights and get the setup so you can see what I've been working on. Okay, so you can see got the lights going on. And even with the 
standard traditional sandwall buttons. I also have LED lights underneath them to illuminate. And then of course you see the ball top. It's a bubble top sandwall joystick. And I got the demon's eye, the, the his instinct demon illuminated with lights. And of course you can see his eyes. So hopefully this project, my personal stick that I'm working on, this Shadow Jago, will be done hopefully in the next week or two. Uh, I have to work on the other two projects that I'm working on to finish those up first before I finish mine. But uh, as you can see it's coming along. What do you think guys? And I got his uh, name up there on the top right corner. Uh, different kind of uh, logo looking still the same font I'll zoom in that real quick just to show you so right there I don't know if you can see it that good I didn't want to make the name too large This is my personal stick that I'm working on for the past three months. Like I said, in between new projects. But uh, for those that you are my Xbox Live friends, my YouTubers, my subscribers, uh, let me know what you think. Um, if you're not a um, subscriber, subscribe. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, comment what do you think of uh, my new stick. And uh, just to make it more dramatic, I'm going to turn off the other light and make it uh, dark in here so you can see what it looks like when it's in complete darkness. So this is what it looks like when it's in complete darkness. I'll zoom in a little bit, see what you think. Like I was saying, I don't know if it's unique, but something different that I want to do uh, personally for my own personal sticks. Uh, a lot of uh, my subscribers were in commenting on my work, and I really appreciate uh, the comments. Um, if people want to have this done, uh, just let me know. And uh, but it takes a lot of work to do this. Uh, just getting the wood cut to place all the LED lightings uh, to work accordingly uh, with the picture. But uh, Let me know what you think on the co uh, comments. And give me a thumbs up. I'm going to turn the lights back on. Alright, so that's what the image looks like. Design that uh, I came up with and my designer worked on it for me. And uh, thank you for watching. And once I get this joystick done, I'll upload it on YouTube and show you the functionality. And just to let you know, I'm going to do that big mod using the crossbone and the Akishop 360 plus so it's going to play on multiple systems you know all the way from Super Nintendo all to all the way to the new systems 
So this is uh, my intent for this stick, is to be a all-in-one joystick and playing on all systems. And most of you know about uh, those PCBs, the Crossbone and the Aki Shop. Alright, again, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you soon. Bye.